na. May kwento ko sa'yo. Sa yung crush Uh-oh. mo tuwingin sa'yo kanina. Hindi ko tuwingin. Sayang naman. Oh. Pero may favor ako sa'yo. Mm. Pwede mo ako sa Manog Movie. Ano ba nanoorin natin? Kasi gusto ko, bago tayo mag-exam, parang papastress free gan. Free. free. Stress free ka naman na eh. Hindi be. Ang gusto ko panoorin ano. Mm. The Tinkol Tadhana. Alam mo yon? Hindi eh. Ano ba Alam yun? mo yon? Tungkol saan yun? Samahan mo ako. Eh tungkol sa ano, love na may tadhana. Yee, yeah, bakit, ka, bakit hindi pa nanoorin natin? Broken hearted ka pa ngayon siya. Bakit manonood doon broken? Sus? Pwede mo ako samahan. Oo, oh, oh, sasamahan ngayon na. na kita. Oo, oh, oh, ngayon na. Yes, I love it. Shocks. B. Kailangan ko ng ano, umalis. Hindi na kita masasamahan manood ng move. Bakit? Kasi ang dami ko pang homework na di natatapos. Iko pa rin na nagpasama sa akin dito sa ilang mo. Kasi ba, kailangan ko mag-alat ng time. Ang dami kong tatapusin. Tukong saan ba yan? About kasi, about kasi siya sa ano, languages in media and information. So kailangan ko talaga matapos. Una na ako. Okay lang. Thank you, baby. Bye bye. Enjoy. Text mo na lang ako. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's up, family? I'm Kat. I'm Wang. And I'm Mikoy. Last episode, our topic was about representation in media and information. At tinalakay nga natin ang kalagaan ng visual representation. We will be talking about the representation of media and information. We live in a world where media presence is everywhere, yes. di ba? Dahil stress ka, tignan mo na lang yung pamangkin ko. Kaso sa man ang ugali nitong batang ko, ako Diyos ko, nakaka-stress. Okay. Sabi ko, ano yan? BAD! Gumanon siya! Tapos so, bakit ano, bakit ka nakagaling sa alaktad, baril ka, bong bong bong? Doon niya nakuha yung mga ganun-ganon sa ano sa palabas, baril-baril. May napapanood tayo, dapat iniintindi muna natin, mm-hmm. di ba? People, when they see film, they think it's true. And, and people start saying, oh tignan mo, tignan mo, dahil ikaw ay ganyan exactly sinabi mo sa akin. Siguro nag ikaw rin nagsisinungaling, siguro ikaw din ang mababae. And for today's topic, we will talk about languages and media and information. Kumbaga, bibigyan natin ng pansin dito yung mga codes and conventions na nakita natin sa news and film. Dahil mahalagang malaman ng ating family kung ano bang importance ng visual languages in media and information. Dahil gaya nga ng sabi sa ating last episode na media presence is everywhere. Grabe, nakaka-excite talaga, di ba? Kaya family, hindi na namin kayo bibitinin pa. Sit back, relax, and learn as you watch Am I Literate? There is potential in using media information or even social media when it comes to learning, as it can be a supplementary tool because of its convenience. A study by the EDUCOS, Center for Analysis and Research, conducted a survey regarding how students and teachers see social media as an educational tool. Current research suggests that in the higher education setting, social media may be used to improve communication between students, instructors, and the surrounding campus community. The advantage of using popular social media platforms is that most students arrive to campus as fluent users of these virtual tools. There are various ways to spread awareness about being critical on the information they get. You may hold a campaign, a seminar, or conference. You can also use media to advise people. You can make radio or TV shows about media, information, and you can also write about it and publish it online. All films actually use symbols and codes including that thing called Tadhana. The film used symbols even at the beginning of the movie. In the airport scene, Mace cannot board the plane due to her excess baggage, so Anthony decides to help her through putting Mace's clothes into his luggage. 
However, when they decided to go to Sagada, they accidentally left their luggage in the bus. Later in the film, you would understand that these scenes actually is the whole story. Anthony helps Mace move on from her ex, and so does Mace helps Anthony move on from his. And they both leave their past and embark on a new journey together. Visual language can be defined as the integration of words and visual elements. It is thus the combination of text, shapes, and imagery to illustrate context in order to support the transfer of knowledge and ideas. The use of visual language in media is a great value for perception, overall understanding, and has a deep impact on the further processing of information. It engraves attention and increases a learner's level of motivation and commitment. Combining spoken or written words with visual elements and thus offering a multi-sensual stimuli has an impact on how people perceive information and retain facts in their memories. There are many ways as to how we can apply codes and conventions in news media or TV news programs. First and foremost, they can be applied to studio presenters who are also called news anchors. They are known for hosting the show, reading, and introducing stories. Moreover, we have the studio background which is comprised of images or graphics that are connected to the stories presented. We also have direct access to camera which makes the presenters connect to the audience. Cozy conventions can also be applied to interviews and also with what we call as Vox Pops. These are short interviews canvassing the opinion of the public. And lastly, we have visual codes. So visual codes refer to the appearance that the presenters communicate to the audience. Kagaya nga na lagi naming sinasabi, it's lit to be lit it. Kaya samahan nyo kami next time. Again, I'm Weng. I'm Kat. And I'm Ikoy. And you're watching... Am I Lit It?